Hi, I'm Mary Bensel, and welcome to At the Van Wazel. And here I am with my great friend Julia Mays, who works with me here at the Van Wazel as our marketing director. And this is our first show of 2012. I know, right? Did you have Can a you great holiday? It? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. How about you? I did, and I, I must say, we always tell people that um, gift certificates make great um, Christmas presents, yes, they do. but they also make great Valentine's gifts and great. Birthdays all throughout and the year. All throughout the year. Yeah. And I just came back. I gave my sister, and this is way to hear this one. I gave my sister <laughs> tickets to see Hugh Jackman on Broadway. Oh. And of course, I was very oh. canny in this because, of course, I was the of one that course. wanted to go. Yeah. So I went with her. And ladies, he is as good looking as ever and so charming. And, um, what you know. A nice Christmas present that was. That was, <laughs> and I am um, working on trying to bring him here sometime, you oh, know, because yeah. okay, when he's not like filming that. movies, you know, he may be doing a tour, so that would yeah, be very, good. very cool. And of course, also up in New York was Mandy and Patty, uh, which we have coming in February, and um, looking that, forward to that show. That show, I think, yeah. that's Valentine's Day, and that is probably one of the best shows. I and, think and the selling year. very quickly. Well, I don't know that there's a single <laughs> ticket left, but yeah. if there is, get it. But anyway, talking about January 1, it is a great holiday, and we have Salute to Vienna, which yep. I think it's the 14th year? It's very, yes it is, and it's a, you know, it's a tradition here at the Van Wezel, and um, as, as, as well as it being a tradition, they still have changed it up a bit, so it's, so it's, it's very, always fresh every it's year. It's always fresh, and what people I think don't realize is that actually the conductor that they have is, is very humorous, and um, he brings the audience into the flavor of the whole. So ladies, leave the husbands at home watching football and come <laughs> see some of the most beautiful waltzing yeah. and dancing and, and singing and a fabulous orchestra. And Salute to Vienna is one of my favorite shows. It's beautiful. The people Absolutely we work beautiful. with that bring that every year yeah. are so wonderful. But following it, we go into a totally different mode, right? Way, way different. Way different. <laughs> so go from your waltzes to your rock and roll, because we have Rock of Ages, which I loved the show when I, I saw know, it on Broadway. I know, wasn't that great when we oh saw that? Gosh. It was so fabulous. And, you know, and it, we have two performances of it. So. We do, January um, 3 and 4 at 8 o'clock. And I believe we have some video that you can see of yes, that show. Yes, we do. And of course, you know, they're making the a movie. movie of this with, with Mr. <laughs> with Tom your Cruise, favorites, yes, yeah. with long hair and everything like that. But there is nothing like seeing it live. You know, you live. live. There's a fabulous story in it. And, um, you know, there's songs from this, the 80s, you know, from all the hair bands and, yep. you know, Poison and White sticks Snake and, and Sticks and, yep. oh my gosh. And there's, it's a great show. It's fun for everybody. And this is a show that you really can rock out to. Yeah, I was because just going to say, you can oh my rock gosh. out. So sure. it doesn't matter, you know, whether you've seen these bands. And, and it always makes me laugh when I see young kids here and they say, well, our parents just played that music, you know, over and over. And so that is a wonderful, wonderful show, January 3 and 4. That's right. And then the next one is a show that I am going to miss because I am going to the annual conference to try to get shows for the next year. Well, I'll be here for you. I know, and I'm going to miss the king, <laughs> Mr. B.B. King and Lucille. Uh, I just, I love B.B. King. I mean, he's just such a legend. And he's a generous man. And he's a generous person. He talks Absolutely. to the, he talks to the kids in the front rows yeah. and people can come down after, I've seen him shake hands afterwards and, you know. He's very gracious. He's gracious yeah. and he has a legend. He has a, a great jazz club in New York City. Of which I love. I know and you yeah. also see him doing all those commercials for diabetes yeah. mm -hmm. and the fact that he has had a career like that and I, I say, you know, you never know in, with our great stars what may be the case. And so it's great to catch somebody like B.B. King. When, it really is. When, and I have to tell you, he's still in his prime. He is still the king. Yeah. So come and see him, for Come sure. and see B.B. And then we go into a show that I am so excited about. We talked about on an earlier show that I'm going to go to Africa next year. And I'm going to get to see some of this special dancing called Stepping, and we have Step Africa coming on January the 12th. We have some video that we can look at here for a second.
can't wait to see it. And I'm going to talk to these kids and ask them about the best place, places to go. Yeah, and they could probably tell you, too. I know. Because this is all, all these kids are traditional, um, have grown up with this type of dancing, and it's, it's fabulous. It's fabulous, and it's played up at the Straz Center, and the folks up there told me it's yeah. so special. We're very excited to we have, have it a, here. We uh, have a smaller version of it for the children's shows, and that's totally sold out. So adults, get your, your, your credit card out and come see... Um, Step, Africa. Step Africa. And, and that, Jules, how, how do we buy tickets now? You can buy tickets at the box office. Uh, well, lovely representatives. You and that's go, the cheapest way. And that's the cheapest way. Or you can conveniently go online to vanwazel.org. Or you can call us on the phone at 953-3368. And we want to again ways. tell everybody, when you make sure, sure that you are on the Van Wazel official site, because lots of times secondary ticket t sellers you know, get their name above ours, yeah. and it's, it must be the Van Wazel original site because otherwise they will up the ticket price, and we don't want you know you to be taken right. advantage of. It is so. vanwazel.org. And is we ours. have um, an email club. We have um, Facebook. We have Twitter. Yeah, join our email club because we have lots of specials. That's how Moody Blues we got them first. Yeah, Moody Blues was um, is a new the show, public. and you got a chance to buy five days before they went on sale to the Absolutely. public. Absolutely. And um, we often have contests for free tickets yeah, and lots, of, fun and lots of pictures. Julie is always doing something crazy, and <laughs> so her picture's up there. I, on the other hand, am always very decorous. Oh, we get your picture up there a lot. <laughs> she just doesn't know about it. <laughs> well, after all, you know, I'm an old lady. Aww. And then we have Whoopi Goldberg coming, and I have presented Whoopi Goldberg. And the Whoopi Goldberg that you see on The View is not necessarily no. the Whoopi Goldberg you see here, and she's outrageous. Let's face it, she is a superstar. She's an icon. There aren't too many people that you can just say one first name and you know who Whoopi is. Right. I mean, from she, Sister Act to the stage. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, that's when we met her again um, because she's one of the producers of right. the Broadway hit Sister Act. Yeah. And of course, she won the Oscar for Ghost and uh, she was in Color Purple and just a really cool individual. Yes, she and is. she will be here doing her stand up comedy. And she also takes lots of questions from the audience. And the date on that, Jules, is Saturday, January 14th, because we have to present her on a night that she's not taping The View. That's right. And this would be a great couple's night, I think. It is a fun night. Yeah. It's a fun night. Absolutely. Then we go to our Chinese acrobats, and this year we have the Golden Dragon acrobats. Now, folks, we still have tickets available, but let me tell you, this show inevitably sells out. And last year's show terrified me. The things these acrobats can do with their bodies oh, and building human pyramids and you know, balancing 25 people on their chin, and oh my goodness. You know, and don't think that, that if you saw one that it's going to be like the others. No, it really isn't. because this, this is, is a so totally different unique. show. Yes. So come. T take something to calm your heart before you come, <laughs> you know, but it's exciting and fun and something that I can't wait for. And it's on a Sunday night, so it's on January 15th, and it has a 7 o'clock time period yeah, so. so that you can bring the kids and they can get in bed before, you know, it's time, time for school the next school. day. Yep. Then we have Blast <gasps> coming. Yeah, very fun show. Now, I first saw Blast before it opened on Broadway. I saw it in Boston. This is a show, if your kid is in band, um, or if you just like music, this is a Broadway show that really defines all the odds. It is I mean, just, it just tremendous. gets your heart pumping. Oh, you it's, know, it's, it's like it's, invigorating. It's, it's so high octane, and it's really, really a special event. It's as exciting as a football game. It live. is as exciting as you a know, football game is. live. Yeah. And it's January the 17th at 8 o'clock. And we, of course, made sure we didn't put any of these shows against the Super Bowl because that's we know right. that's a no no. Were we smart this year or what? But then, who is in the building next? Ah. Elvis is back in the building. There you go. <laughs> and it's his birthday, so this is it's Elvis' his birthday Elvis bash. Elvis' birthday bash, yeah. And these two guys, who one plays the young Elvis and one does the older Elvis, their impersonations have won awards. Last year, or no, it was two years ago, two people years ago. came to me and raved more about that show than I can tell you. Yeah, they are fabulous. I've seen Scott in person. Um, and other areas, and he's, he's just wonderful. I mean, you'd swear he was Elvis. He was Elvis. Yes. And I tell you, you know, all, all of you that are out there know what it's like with um, all the stories about Elvis. You know, they were going to outlaw him on Elvis, you know, on the Ed Sullivan show, and they, you know, they made a 
musical <laughs> Bye Bye Birdie that was loosely based on yes. him. <laughs> and then the last show we're talking about is um, Richard Nader's doo-wop show. And that show was so much fun last year. I think that oh somebody gosh. sitting next to you started singing with you. And yes. did he not ask you out that night? We just had a blast. I haven't had an opportunity to, to, to meet him, but we are. We had a very good time. And you just meet people. You, you just never meet know who's people. Sit next we had to you. so much fun. We were just like having a contest with each other to yeah, see who, who could remember song. the words. You know, I know. Like, who did that? And we, who who is in the show? Oh, we have the Drifters. We have the Mystics. We have Barbara Harris, um, the Vogues, and of course Tommy Mara and his guest. And it's just going to be fabulous. And so, I must say, I mean, you know, five or six bands. This was all before on, my on era, but this was a great time. Yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. anyway, folks, we will be back with one of the wonderful new sponsors of At the Van Wazel. And welcome back to At the Van Wazel. I'm Mary Bensel, and I have another one of our fabulous sponsors, and this one is sure to make you hungry. I know it's making me hungry already. I have with us Dean DeFebo, who is the operating partner of Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar. Correct. Thank you, Mary. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you. It's it's. We have so, in Sarasota so many fabulous restaurants. We have one here at the Van Wazel, Madison's on the Bay, and Fleming's is just top of the line for steak. It's really wonderful. I was recently there. Well, I'm a little biased, so, but, I, <laughs> but uh, yes, I, I like to think that Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar, that, uh, you know, our um, elevated hospitality, our seamless service, our world-class food, and creating memorable times is what we want to be known for. How long for. have you been there? We it will be eight years old in April. So wow. we opened in April in 2004, and since our inception, we've been a proud partner to be with uh, the Van Wazel here and many other local communities. We are so grateful to that because your sponsorship really ma helps make all of the shows possible because otherwise the ticket price would be beyond compare. Well, we're very happy to be a part, and you have a very strong season this year. Thank well. you. I know you're also a, you come to see a lot of shows and yeah, I've been to looking a few. forward to Jerry Seinfeld, I hear. In February, I got to the <laughs> second show, so uh, I wasn't early enough to get to that first one, but yeah, I'll be here for the second show. Well, and you know, I don't know if there's still any tickets left, but it was an instant smash, and I'm oh. very excited to have uh, Mr. Seinfeld here, but you have been in the uh, restaurant business for what, 28 years? 28 years, pretty much all my working career. Did you I, start in the in the back in the kitchen? I or? started in a shot in a beer bar in Homestead, Pennsylvania. Right I've been across, there. Right across, <laughs> from the, right across from the steel mill, and uh, it was a girlfriend's parents that owned a tavern, and I was a bartender, and pretty much ever since then, I you know worked in the hospitality industry. It, private clubs, hotels, and uh, yes, I think I found home at Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar. Yeah, that's great. I know it's it's really hard with restaurants to make them take hold and, and get a loyal clientele. What do you think the secret to your success has been? Well, we have a very strong brand, um, very recognizable. Um, we have a lot of fun things that we do at Fleming's. We have a daily happy hour. We call it five, five for six till seven. I was there for one of those. Runs that was every day great. in our bar, very popular. Runs every day in our bar from five till seven. There are uh, offerings of five glasses of wine, five um, appetizers, or five cocktails, all for $6 each from 5 to 7 in our bar. And included is a prime burger that is out of I this world. I had that. 
Best burger in town. Fabulous. It was great. You yes. know, and they cooked it to perfection, I must say. I, you know, I, I asked for medium rare, and, you know, sometimes you don't get that, and, and it was wonderful. Well, we're glad we got it right the first time for now, you. Now, I have to also mention, and we can't run on about this forever, but I went to school at the University of Pittsburgh, and then uh -oh. I worked for Pittsburgh Ballet, and I was there at um, the time when the Steelers were, you know, the Steel Curtain with Mean Joe Green and all those guys. And so while I'm from Philadelphia and I'm rooting for the Eagles, although this year that's sort of a done deal, um, unfortunately, you were a, a Steelers fan too, I understand. Uh, die hard. Uh, <laughs> born Do you have raised, a terrible towel? I have multiple terrible towels. Uh, die hard Steelers fan. Um, back in the years that you're talking about, I was a teenager. Uh, obviously, and we're rolling. You're giving off away how old I am. We're, 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 roll, we're rolling <laughs> off Super Bowls, and yes, I couldn't be prouder and uh, lifelong fan. And you know, yeah. we we could talk for hours about this. No, we could. And I was in Pittsburgh, I guess, a year ago. No, it's two years ago. And it's funny. Uh, I was waiting for a cab, and who's standing next to me but Phil Sims? Uh, and um, so the cab came up. And I was going to the airport, and of course he was going to the other airport with the with the special, um, the private airport, you know. And he's like, "Well, do you know I'm Phil Sims?" And the cab driver said, "Buddy, in this town, that doesn't mean anything, you know." <laughs> and off I went in the cab, and so I he, thought he got sacked. He did. Right he got there. sacked. He did. He did. But um, uh, tell me, how do people get information on Flemings? Where can we find, um, you know, if you have specials or your well, website? Or our website would be the best place to go, and that's www.flemings.com. Steakhouse.com, uh, where you can find all of our specials. You can sign up to be a Friends at Fleming's, which is pretty much a name and an email, and uh, you'll be able to get sent to you all of our specials that we have. Um, we also do a nice chef's uh, nightly prefix special that your guests might enjoy that are coming to the show. It's a $39.95 three course, it's offered nightly. Um, on the back of our your ticket envelopes, we have an offer there for a chef's appetizer for two for all right. your guests that buy tickets. So, you know, maybe they can get the appetizer, come in for the special, it's a nice pre-theater um, venue to come to and then whisk you away it's to a, the it's Van a Wazel. Quick, it's a quick uh, trip down to the Van Wazel and I am so grateful for companies that support the arts in Sarasota. And the nice thing about the arts here is we're the fifth largest employer. I don't mean just the Van Wazel, but all of us, the Oslo, the opera, the orchestra, the ballet. And it really brings business into the restaurants, which I think is, you know, because people always want to go out to dinner first. And so it's, it's great. You can have dinner here at the theater. You can go to Fleming's, Michael's. There's just so many wonderful choices out there. Yes, 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 there are. But I know you have a special choice, which is yes, Fleming's. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased, and uh, you know, I just want to let your guests know that you know we're located at 2001 Siesta Drive in Sarasota, right at the corner of US 41. So it's a quick in Siesta Drive. Five minutes it took me to get here this afternoon, and. Uh, my staff and I look forward uh, to serving you and your guests for a long time. And I should also mention you're a proud father and uh, oh, yeah. a husband and really support the community. Oh, very much so. It's very important. It's, uh, it, you know, at Fleming's, it's, it's one of our principles and beliefs to, to get involved in the community and, and definitely be a part. Well, we're really glad to have Dean have you here and have you as part of the community. And I guess you could say, everybody, Happy New Year, and we're really excited that you were a sponsor of ours. Well, thank you, thank and you. thank you for having me. Me and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, they still oh. make you laugh hilariously. I mean, last time he was here, two or three years ago, people were literally, you know, laughing yeah. and rolling out of their chair. Yes, I mean, it was funny. he was very, it was funny. very funny. I also thought he was going to set the draperies on fire because he does this <laughs> whole thing with a cigarette and then he does that duffer thing with golf. And um, it's just so nice to have some a, a pro like Tim Conway yeah. back in the building. And he will be here on January the 22nd. It's a 7 o'clock show. And be prepared to laugh your socks off. Yeah, there you go. I was going to oh, say something so, else and I get good center, that, censored. I love those socks. <laughs> Don't you love those socks? Yeah. <laughs> and then we pull into high gear with one of the greatest orchestras in the world. They always talk about the big five orchestras. Yeah, and they and are the one. Cleveland Orchestra is one of the finest orchestras I have ever heard in my life. And I used to live across from um, my theater in Philadelphia, used to be across from the Philadelphia Orchestra. And this Cleveland Orchestra rivals anything you know you can hear there. And it is January 23rd at 8, at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. And I promise you folks, being not a classical musician, that I am going to now brutally slay some of these names so don't write in I apologize I'm going to do <laughs> my best in. they are playing the Brahms piano concerto number no. two. Oh, that's fabulous um, the Shostakovich symphony number no. six and then I've saved the one I can't pronounce the Smetana McBlast um, as well as and the soloist is an oh please forgive me Mr. Soloist Yepin Brofman I think and, you did a great job well that's because you don't know the correct pronunciation either. That's correct. Either. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but this is going to be superb. Um, you can't miss seeing the Cleveland Orchestra. We have a fabulous orchestra in Sarasota Orchestra, but it is also wonderful to have a palette where you see more than one. And uh, when we bring some of the world's greatest orchestras, and this year we have the American orchestras, yeah, and I really nice. want people to come out and see the Cleveland Orchestra. It should be a superb night. And bring your night. family, because introduce them to something new if you haven't already. You know, it's funny. We have some young people in our office that came and saw um, some of the orchestras last year, and they were blown away. Blown away, yeah. And they just were like, I didn't know what I was missing. So Very bring nice. the kids. Bring the kids. Then we go to, well, your phone rings the music. Yes. <laughs> this no, is, that's Charmaine. Oh, is it Charmaine? <laughs> yeah. Your phone used to ring this song. <laughs> yeah, it did. It used to ring with Dancing Queen, because we have a Queen. tribute show to ABBA, <laughs> and almost all the tickets are gone. There may be a few left, but, I mean, Th this it, it, group. The music of ABBA is phenomenal. I don't care who does it. it does, I mean, you know, it's the music that inspires you. But this is the renowned uh, troupe this that is, that is the tribute to the ABBA right. band. Yep. And, you know, of course you can hear the songs in Mamma Mia and, you know, um, and I'm hoping to bring Mamma Mia back soon. Yeah. But let me tell you, this is all their songs. It's, it's all straight music, oh. so it's, oh, you can't, you just, it, you won't sit still. You just won't so, sit still. I'm going to have a hard time with Dancing Queen, I bet. Well, Julia, mm -hmm. you are going to dance, so you might as well sit on the end. Yeah, I will. And you know okay. what happens to her, folks? Let me tell you. The ushers <laughs> yell at her all the time to sit down, and I say to the ushers, let them dance. And, let you know, just dance. don't block somebody, you know, don't, right. don't stand in front of somebody, Julia. Right, but, absolutely. But dance your little your little head off. Okay, okay. good. Glad <laughs> you said good choice. <laughs> and then and the socks will get and us. And then we gotta have heart. Gotta have heart. Damn Yankees. Damn Yankees. Those damn, damn Yankees. Yankees. Those damn Yankees. My, you know, <laughs> my Phillies. Oh my goodness. But damn Yankees is a great show. Oh, yeah, all that fabulous fun. music. So whatever fun. Lola wants, and it's yeah. of course where Joe sells his soul to the devil and. I once did it with um, Jerry Lewis playing the devil. Oh, and, yeah, I've done you it know, with Jerry Lewis. He was yeah. fabulous. But this is a great revival. Um, it has all those fabulous songs. It's on January the 25th at 8 o'clock. And, you know, the graphic they have for it is they've turned the apple into the baseball. Yes, and, I you think know, that's very clever. So come and see Damn Yankees. <laughs> 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 and then, of course, the nice thing is we go into a totally different But isn't genre. that what makes the Van Weasel so that special? That does. I like, mean, oh, you just like, don't see one thing here. No. You know, one minute you were rocking and rolling. You know, we just talked about the Moody Blues were just added. Yep. Willie Nelson just got added. I mean... Cleveland Orchestra to and then, Damn Yankees, And then too. we have Kenny Rogers coming. Yeah. And Kenny Rogers, last time he came, he brought his twin boys who were, what, three or four? Yeah. And I know we the, tell this story every oh. time we talk about them, but well, you can't so help cute. but talk about them because he was so... So adorable. They, they were those so kids adorable. were, and they came out and sang with him. Yeah. And the poor kids thought <laughs> that they were—they obviously had been on tour with Kenny when he was doing his Christmas show. So 
they came, and our show was in February at the time, and the kids at the end, when they left, they're like, Merry Christmas, everybody. That was I'm hilarious. Like, well, that's a little early <laughs> for Christmas, but Kenny sings all the hits, you yeah, know, and, really and he good. sings every hit. And we had Dolly Parton here at the beginning of the season, and wouldn't that have been cool if oh, they could have both oh been here gosh, together yeah. at the same time? Because they, they do some great shows. Yeah. Now, here's a show that, you know, women, bring your men. And men, bring your women. Well, I think the women are going to have to bring the men, because this show is entitled Male Intellect, an Oxymoron. And I can say that with a straight face. It I have seen hilarious. this show. I have too. It's he very has funny. a board, you know, he has a chalkboard, and he has the men's sing sign on one and a woman's on the other, and he is explaining why <laughs> men will not let us have the remote, you know, why women want to talk about something 35 times when the yeah. men think that it's over. And he explains the male and female brain. And it is such a fabulous, fun time. And he just about gets it right, too. He does, because. <laughs> They are an oxymoron, yeah. don't you think? Yes, it is. But anyway, it's it's all in good it's fun. Coming, though. It's it all is in good, good fun. fun. You, uh, and you'll have a blast. You'll have a blast. And then yeah. afterwards, you can go home and you know really, really see if what he has said is true. Yeah. So Absolutely. Robert January Dubeck, twenty seventh. He he is just, and he's a great guy. He is. I can only imagine what his wife thinks. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then we go to another show. Um, it's interesting. I saw Michael Feinstein on the Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade. Yes, I did too. He was on the float, and I'm thinking, isn't it cool that all of these stars that we get in Sarasota, you know, we are a fabulous city, but we're not the largest city no. in the world, but we get great talent. People that big end talent. up big talent. Yeah. People that are. Um, you know, I, I was watching on another, on a country Christmas, um, Darius Rucker, yes. who's someone oh, I bought I know. Have. Wasn't that a fabulous so that, show? That was a fabulous yeah. show. But anyway, Michael Feinstein is coming. And what makes this special is every time he comes, he does a different show. And this one is the Sinatra Project. Yeah, I, this is going to be wonderful. And he sings Sinatra so beautifully. Yes, he does. And Michael is a storyteller. And um, this show is on, um, it's, it's, it's so special. And I, I don't have the date. What is the it's date? It's Tuesday, Jules? January 31st Okay, at and 8 p.m. And I will be there because I swear yeah, he, he is. He's fabulous. I once did a New Year's Eve concert with, with Michael Feinstein, and um, they wanted all White Castle hamburgers and champagne. And oh, then I was funny. looking at the writer, and I think somebody's now a vegan. So who oh. knows, you know? But um, this show is phenomenal, and he is a great guy, so come see it. And then we have a couple of shows in February that we quickly can mention. Yeah, absolutely. Talking again, going from the Sinatra Project, to the other. Josh Bell, yeah. the world's, I should say, America's greatest violinist. That's right. He's and he's so, a young he's, guy. Oh, he's wonderful. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. They always kid me that I'm sort of locking on the gorgeous yeah. part. <laughs> That's awful. important. Look at Bieber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but uh, but Josh Bell, we're really thrilled to have him here. He's going to be here February second. This is a superstar, and I'm really excited about that. And then and another extreme. Then da -da -da -da. another extreme. You know, <laughs> Willie, Willie my Nelson, bud. <laughs> our bud, Willie Nelson, February the third. Yeah. And Mr. Nelson, you know, Mama, don't grow up to let your babies be cowboys and every song possible. And it's Willie his Nelson. family this time. It's his family. He's and this time too. He's just, Willie is a great guy. He does so, so much for Farm Aid. But, you know, I am amazed when I watch him play guitar of what he can do. And this concert last year sold out. And yeah. we just added it. And it's, it's selling it's out. It's selling quickly. Selling quickly. So there may be a few tickets back. Yeah. So that phone number is 953-3368. Come to the box Come office, the box Davis, office. David our, and Travis, our box office managers, are friendly people. They will help oh, you. they're fun and they're great. They'll or help you. ordered in your jammies on yeah. our website. Your favorite My way. My favorite way. Um, <laughs> and you, it's www.vanwazel.org. <laughs> and folks, remember, the hearing loop is here. We have new seats. We have new sound. We have the hearing impaired system. So it's a great place to be. And come and have dinner. Go to Fleming's or go to Madison's on the Bay. That's and right. And they serve. I had dinner there just the other night, and they're fabulous. So give us a call. It will be worth your while. Great to see you. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody.